Hey guys, welcome back. So guys, in this video, we are continuing our Laravel 8 REST API CRUD. So guys, now we are going to start with the part two where we are going to fetch the inserted data from our database using Postman. So guys, let's get started. So first let's move to our editor and let's go to the route for api.php. Let's go over here and create one simple route for the fetching of the products. So route colon colon get function where you are going to type products with the controller. So my controller is product controller colon colon class where I am going to create a index function in this product controller. So let's go to this controller and create one index function. So let's get back to our controller. And now guys, as simple, let's create one public function with the name index and let's create one variable called product is equal to your model product product colon colon all function okay so this product is nothing but your model so this is your model which is called imported the class of this at the top so now let's pass this variable into the json response written response function in json format where array of your i'm going to create a products variable where passing all your products this okay so this product variable is passed in an under okay array so after this if it's success means we have to send a 200 so this means status is successful everything is working fine so now guys let's try to access this records so let's go to our API and copy this route and make sure your project is started. And now guys, let's copy this path. Control A and C. Let's go to a postman and create a route. So let's create one new request. Paste and keep this as get method. The route you have created products. So let's copy that and paste. And now guys, after pasting this route, you need to send that API forward slash because we are inside the API, right? So let's click this over here and now let's send the request. Send. Perfect. So guys, you can see the output over here. Let me just take it top. So this is the ID one with the products variable. So this is coming because of this passing variable called products over here so this inside this you have having multiple data let me just show that so inside this product we have id1 and then id2 and let's add one more data so this we have seen in part one so guys please watch out the previous video part one and see let me add camera so this is camera description let's keep as 35 15 let's send so product added successfully let's get and see the record so we have only one and two okay so now let's fetch once again so we can see the third data which is camera so one two and the third id which you can see camera perfect so guys we have successfully fetched the data in our laravel api crud okay so this was the third data which we have added so these three data which we have fetched over here so guys now we will fetch this records one by one so we have fetched all the records directly right so id one two three all at once we have fetched now let us try to get the data by its id single single data we are going to get so let's go to a editor and yep guys so let's copy this and paste below and over here we will tell show function okay and over here find you are going to add that find and send that id over here so this id you will get from your show function and now let's create a route for this show so let's get back to our api route colon colon get function and inside this you are going to tell 
show like product forward slash the id okay show and then your controller so my controller is product controller where class and inside show function so this is the functions copy this and paste over here as simple guys so we are just sending one id from this okay and now let's get back let's copy this and go back to our postman let's create one request so let's add this and let's copy the same path and paste over here with the get method and just change few things over here as per your requirement so it is product id and then show okay so forward slash id so i want to get first id and then show v simple set guys and now let's try to send the request let's send cool so you can see guys we have successfully fetched the single data also and let's try to access the second id so you can find that second id laptop details okay now let us find some extra ids like we have total number of records you can see three datas are there let's access fifth data id number five let's see what happened now you can see the product is null okay but in some case if you go in front and that time it shows error so for this let's pass the message over here let's get back to our product controller and create one simple if condition so if this product of it is there means it will take the value else you can send the message as no record found or no product found okay and this will be when nothing is found you say as for not for error so let's save guys and let's search with that wrong id so we don't have this existing id and now let's see the status over here find no product found and the status you can see which we have set is 404 let's try to change this to one send and you can see data is found and the status is 200 okay so guys we have successfully completed that how to fetch the record and show the record by single single also by its id and yep guys so guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share